or cash forecasting is the modeling of the cash position over a specific time frame. In this video, we will provide an understanding of cash forecasting in the PeopleSoft Cash Management application. We will discuss how to set up and process cash forecasting, provide a demonstration of cash forecasting, and provide additional resources for more information. The information and demonstration in this video is as of image 25. Let's first review cash forecasting. Cash usually refers to a company's total bank balances. Cash forecasting captures your company's treasury position, which is cash plus short-term investments minus short-term debt. PeopleSoft Cash Management provides a robust worksheet tool to manage your organization's cash forecasting. You can configure the cash forecast dimensions and forecast rules to meet your business needs. The cash forecast results enable cash managers to view the cash position in several dimensions, such as bank, bank account, currency, business unit, and several more that can be configured. For any cash forecasting results view, you can click on a line item to drill down to the details. The cash forecasting process in PeopleSoft Cash Management adds flexibility to maintenance and reporting. Now that we understand what cash forecasting is, let's discuss how to set it up. Setting up cash forecasting includes defining cash forecasting information. The following setup data has to be defined. Time sets are used to configure time segments with corresponding start and end cycles. They also store associated time periods. Position field types define field names. Forecast mapping is used to set up dimensions to report cash forecasting numbers. Position source sets are used to define sources such as actuals or projected. Position source is used to define position records, drill back details, and selection criteria for position sources. Forecast rules identify forecasting rules to shift or replace forecasting values. Worksheet definitions define how your cash forecast will look. They also define the calculations that will be made. You can define time sets with varying intervals such as daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, or rolling. Look up sample data for the intervals mentioned here to evaluate the associated time periods and make appropriate changes. You should create new intervals as needed. Use the Position Field Types page to set up user-friendly field names. They are also known as alias names and can be associated with prompt records and meta SQL. Position field types are used to map to source record fields, define position SQL criteria, and process cache forecast results. Use the Forecast Mapping to set up dimensions for reporting cash forecasting numbers. In addition to the system defined groupings, you can map up to seven additional cash forecast dimensions. For these dimensions, you can process cash forecast results and view them. For each additional dimension mapped, you must update the position source mappings on the position source page and ensure that the source data has a value for each mapped dimension. The Position Source Set page is used to define position source sets such as actuals, forecast, projected, or intraday. Position source sets represent categories to group position source data. They can be used to view or compare data between two source sets on the Cash Forecasting Results page. The Position Source page is used to define position records drill back to details, and determine selection criteria for position sources. A position source represents a source of data that is used to calculate a cash forecast and position amount. It also holds details to drill back to source data and SQL criteria that can be applied when retrieving cash forecast and position amounts. 
Use the Drill Back Details page to set up methods to source applications. The method allows you to view details of a transaction from the Cash Forecasting Results page. Use the Selection Criteria page to determine selection criteria for a source or regenerate SQL for several sources in batch. In Cash Forecasting, you define selection criteria by source. You can create a selection definition which may include several criteria and then associate it with the source. This is accomplished using the appropriate selection SQL ID and the worksheet level. You can reuse the same selection criteria on any worksheet for the source. Use the Forecast Rules page to identify forecasting rules to shift or replace forecasting values. Forecast rules are used to shift amount, shift value date based on business convention, year, month, day, or payment method, and replace forecast data values. The Forecast Rules page renders differently depending on the rule type selected. Five types of rules can be created. Amount is used to adjust the forecast amount and you can add a weighting value. Date is used to adjust the forecast value date. Payment method is used to shift the value date by payment method. Replacement is used to replace specific position source values. And worksheet offset is used when copying cash forecast results to vary the date and amount. The worksheet definition page is used to set up a worksheet structure. The structure includes the overall processing options, reporting position currencies, forecast rules, source sets, and variance attributes. The worksheet definition also determines how your cash forecast results are to be computed and displayed. The worksheet line items page is used to define line items, position source, and position source processing attributes for the worksheet. Each line item determines the different type of cash information that you are going to see on your worksheet, such as supplier payments, receipts, collections, and treasury inflows. You must set up at least one cash flow line item with at least one source set and source to create a valid worksheet. The non-cash flow line items are optional. Now let's discuss how to process cash forecasting. Use the Calculate Time Spans page to run the Treasury Position Time Spans process, which calculates time spans for a specified time set. For the time set field, you can define time spans with varying intervals, such as daily for a week, weekly for a quarter, and then quarterly for a year. The time spans that you define can overlap, run consecutively, or both. The Create Position Source SQL page is used to enter the parameters and execute a process that creates the SQL defined for a position source. The position source SQL for cash forecasting is stored on the source. If you want to regenerate SQL for several sources, you can do so using this Run Control page. Use the Schedule Cash Forecast page to run the Cash Forecast Calculations Application Engine process. This process calls the Calculation Engine, which uses the request parameters to process each request. You can schedule the forecast process for each worksheet and source set. The Cash Forecast Calculation process overrides all results in the summary and detail tables that have been created for a specific calculation date and value date if the results are not locked. Ensure that position source data is ready before running the Cash Forecast Calculation process. We'll now demonstrate an example of Cash Forecasting. The Cash Management homepage offers access to cash position and cash forecast, overdraft balances, top payments, and investment data. This page is created using PeopleSoft Fluid, user interface technology, and can be accessed from a smartphone, tablet, and laptop. From the Cash Management homepage, you can review these titles. 
the available balance versus forecasted balance by bank tile, where a cash manager can check the daily cash position with available bank balances, and the cash forecast tile, where a cash manager can check the daily cash position. For example, a cash manager can review overdraft accounts after the current day bank statement is loaded. In addition, a cash manager can review high dollar payments going out on a daily basis. For example, a deal manager can review the investment versus debt mix and the market value of the investments and provides data to the trading desk for suitable adjustments in the investment portfolio. Use the available versus forecast page to review the available balances versus the forecasted balance bar chart for each bank and for the current date. You can view balance and variance details. In addition, you can select a bank and location to view the forecast period and amount in a graph and account details in a grid. Select a bar in the graph to view further details. Let's access the cash forecast tile. Use the cash forecast summary page to review the overall cash position details. Use the cash forecast currency page to review cash forecast amounts by currency. Select currencies on the left to view the details in the chart and grid on the right pane. Use the cash forecast bank account groups page to review the cash position by each bank and account group. Select a bank account group on the left to see the details in the chart and grid on the right. Use the cash forecast bank page to review the cash position by bank. Select a bank on the left to see the details in the chart and grid on the right. Use the Cash Forecast Bank Accounts page to review the cash position by bank account. Select a bank account on the left to see the details. Use the Cash Forecast Business Unit Groups page to review the cash position by each business unit group. Select a business unit group on the left to see the details in the chart and grid on the right. Use the Cash Forecast Business Unit page to review the cash position by business unit. On the chart, the x-axis shows the first seven time periods. The y-axis shows the amounts for the business unit. The grid shows the worksheet line items for each time period and the total for each day. You can select a business unit on the left to see the details in their chart and grid on the right. In summary, you can configure the cash forecast dimensions and forecast rules to meet your business needs and to support drill down to details. This provides more information about cash forecast results. It can also be used to plug in multiple sources that affect cash forecast results. For further details on cash forecasting enhancements, refer to the PeopleSoft FSCM Online Help and the PeopleSoft Information Portal. Additional information for the feature described in this video can be found in the PeopleSoft Cash Management Online documentation.